Okay, this is a continuation of uh, the rule number one, the Entrepreneur Has Fun series. Uh, it'll be out in book, who knows when. But uh, one of the things, when I'm at a, particularly, I, I've done a lot of chiropractic events, speaking at events, having uh, booths at trade shows, and uh, I suggest that the doctors and or the entrepreneur, any entrepreneur, uh, puts a sign up in their, rule, in, uh, in their office, in their particular office, the rule of this office, the number one rule of this office is Dr. So-and-so has fun or the entrepreneur has fun, right? And it doesn't really matter because um, usually chiropractors have to become entrepreneurs. And again, if they're not having fun, if they're not making that demand, uh, people are not, gonna have to, not going to know how to be in their offices or in their business. And if you have somebody who continually whines to you and complains to you and says, I don't like the way you're doing things, uh, you can say, well, here's the sign. Here's the rule. If you don't like this rule, then go work someplace else. Uh, when we work within entrepreneurial endeavors, we go in and we ask the employees, what do they want for the entrepreneur, for the innovator, for the person that started the business? Uh, because that's they have a life basically because somebody had a good idea. I was in a chiropractic office in Ware, W-A-R-E, Hertfordshire, London, England. Uh, it was a, a client of mine who became a very good friend of mine, Raph Skiffo. He's the late Raph Skiffo. And at one point, I said to his office manager, who just loved what I did, I said to her, what is it then that when Raph is doing it, he's having fun? And she said, man, when he's in the room with patients, he seems to forget himself. He's he, Nothing matters to him. That's when he's having fun. I said, okay, then we're going to put a sign up. The number one rule is offices, Raph has fun. Right? The, the reason we put Raph has fun up there is because he's the entrepreneur. The people who are working for him either have fun or they get out. Right? They either see that he has fun or they get out. They go do something else. Life becomes fairly pragmatic, fairly black and white, fairly simple. So there, when I left the office, there were signs up. When I came back, uh, maybe two months later, uh, to do another class, there were signs all over the office. The rule of the office is Carla has fun, and Fran has fun, and Annie has fun. And, and so I started walking through the office, I started taking down the signs. And I went to Carla, who was the head gal in the office. She was the office manager. And I said, whose ideas were these? Now, I know it's arrogant, I know it's bold, I know to walk into somebody else's office and tear down signs that they have put up, that they printed out of the printer, is, is arrogant on my part, but the one thing I knew about Raph, he would find it fascinating as to what I was doing and why I was doing it. And so I said to Carla, who put these signs up? And her eyes flashed, and I knew who, did, who had instigated it. There was a student and a gal who thought that life revolved around her, that if Raph was supposed to have fun, then by God... The rules had to extend to her as well. The dilemma with that is, if she can't, in the entrepreneur's game, see that the entrepreneur has fun, then she should get out of the game and find her own game, or find a game that's not motivated by fun. And so I said, look, this doesn't matter, Carla. I said, if you can't have fun here, then leave. Just go ahead and get out of here. You are dedicated to Raph. She said, yep, I love him. I said, I know that. I'm clear about that. And I said, his dedication is to his patients. And he has fun when he's working with his patients. So all these other signs I'm taking down, they're irrelevant. It doesn't matter whether you have fun. It doesn't matter whether Fran has fun, whether Annie has fun. It doesn't matter. If you can't see that Raph has fun and have fun in that, then it's time for you to get out of the business. And this is where the entrepreneur has to be, has to be ruthless. He has to look and see, wait a minute. She doesn't seem or he doesn't seem to think that I should have fun. Time for you to go. One of the business consultants I was with years ago said, an entrepreneur endeavor is a dictatorship. You can't afford to make it a democracy. In most cases, you have to set policies forward, live by the policies, and if your staff doesn't want to live by the policies, let them go. Black and white, fairly simple. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com